Welcome people, I've just uh, finished watching Prey, the Predator prequel and uh, straight away I will say I really enjoyed it, I watched it with my girlfriend and she really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, starts off a little bit slow. You know, you, you introduced to the uh, the protagonist of the the story, and uh, you know the little girl. I, for, I forget her name. I'll just quickly look it up. Actually, in fact. I won't look it up, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we're introduced to her and a dog, and you know, she's part of a tribe, na native Comanche tribe, and you know, she sees a, a sign in the sky, and um, I think she talks to an older, uh, one of the elders, about you know she's seen this sign, and um, you know to say why do you want to hunt? She says because they don't think I can, and uh, they, they don't think she's ready anyway. Um, she 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 goes off, and uh, there's a. Uh, she comes across a bear now. The adverts are very misleading because it makes it look like she fires the arrow, misses the bear, the bear chases her, and she gets into what looks like a beaver's dam. And the bear's trying to get to her. And then next thing, the predator turns up, kills the bear, picks him above his head and carries him off, and she's saved. But, no, uh, like I say, the advert's very misleading. Um, I think there's a lot more to it than that. I think she was actually planning on uh, the bear chasing her into there. Um, she obviously had a plan. But it just so happened that the predator turned up and the predator and the bear start fighting and obviously uh, the the predator just gives it to the bear, picks him up, carries him off, like, you know. Um, she's not a Mary Sue. There was a lot of controversy when the first trailers come out and people were saying things like, you know, Arnie struggled to, to you, you know, physically match this Predator guy. You know, it was only through crying and wet at the end that uh, he, he, he took him out like so. I was there a little skinny girl who, uh, you know, couldn't trouble with this bear how's she gonna take him out well you know he, he, she goes on a bit of a journey she practices but more than anything she's observant you know um the 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 predator is he's he, he, he's there he hasn't got none of his fancy weapons or anything like that people are saying you know why ain't he got his uh, plasma cannon you know uh, obviously it was 300 years be I think before the, the original Predator but they still got interstellar travel and everything you know he could have them weapons if they want, but that's not what the Predators are about. The Predators are about going out, finding prey, hunting, and 
really not the best. The, the uh, if they went out of all the modern technology that they have, no one would stand the chance. So, you know, he he goes. Um, but basically, what 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 what. What he thinks is going to be required of him, like uh, you know, uh, which is quite honourable if you think about it. You know, he he he's like a flipping six foot four guy picking on a five foot two guy. You know, there's no competition. You know, and then people saying that you know how's this little girl going to take him out? Well. We'll find out. Just give me one second. Yeah, throughout the film, you, you know, you see her constantly listening, watching, observing. Um, she, she's picking up on things. She's got a dog with her. Uh, great companion to now to have in certain cases like but um you know there comes a bitch comes across a field with a dead buffalo and she finds something like some I don't know silly the thing I don't know if it was uh, I, I don't know what it was to be honest but Whatever it was, shouldn't have been there. She realised that. You look round the field and you see all the dead buffalo. And she's seen the predator. And she's already determined that it's hunting for sport. And here's a field full of dead buffalo. You know, and she puts two and two together pretty quickly now. She don't think it's the predator. And later on, the predator comes across this field as well. And he picks up a, an object as well, looks at it, and, you know, he knows he hasn't done it like. And as it turns out, there's these uh, French fur trappers. I believe that's what they are. With the, the musket guns. And... You know, the predators already uh, gone and had dealings with uh, some of the local tribal folk. And uh, although, he, you know, he got clearly hurt, you know, you could see the blood. But, I mean, this is one tough son of a, <laughs> a feral predator, like, because he's taken it and he's just brushing off the pain and... And, and taking them out and doing it quite, you know, I wouldn't say really brutally, but, you know, when fighting close quarters with sharp weapons, you know, there's going to be a degree of uh, brutality involved, like. Um, but, yeah, the action sequences were well put together, well choreographed you know the the, the predator he, he looks badass man he ain't messing around i wish he saw a bit more of him to be honest a bit more of him close up and that but like when you see him in the distance he's standing there in the in the dark in the mist and you see you know he's um full figure like you know and He's just standing there, and he, he, this guy's here to, he means business. He's going to test these local folk out. Um, you know, and then, obviously, the the fair trappers have a running with him. And, um, you know, the fire knee there and everywhere. Very athletic, this uh, predator is jumping around, outsmarting them. You know, um, 
he's, he's got his little shield thing that he pulls up and he realizes that the, the these weapons they use you know quite that uh hurting him that much like you know because uh, there's one point where he gets really close to one and <laughs> You know, the guy shoots him like what he thinks is probably his head or his like skull. It's actually a biomass, yeah. That doesn't end too well with him like <clears throat> and it, and at this time, um the girl and her brother are actually uh prisoners of these uh Frenchmen. Like, you know, and as always, she's uh, being observant, watching what's going on, learning. Yeah, they, they managed to escape from that life. Um, she does end up kind of helping one of these uh, trappers, like, and uh, in, in return, he teaches how to, to to use the musket like but uh, y y you can already tell like you know she she's figuring this uh, predator out like they've already established that you know he's, he's hunting them for fun sport um not to survive he, he, and like if they've worked out, you know, that he can be hurt. Um I think a brother in it as well. I think them two yeah. Really good the action between them and uh the 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 injury it and 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 whatnot. Uh I must say um because I've mentioned on a previous video, I treated myself to a soundbar at Christmas and I only got the the rear wireless speakers the other day and then obviously, unfortunately I had to go into hospital for uh, another operation um, but yeah, got it all uh, connected it's all connected, the speakers are right where they should be um and the the sound to this is brilliant especially now like that I, that I've got it all up up and running like yeah sounds brilliant it really does uh I, I, I said it on my on my atmos video you know sounds can really enhance uh a movie, a film, you know, it can, it can make a great film even greater. Unfortunately, you know, if the film's really crap, then there's no help in it. But the sound with this was brilliant. Yeah, loved it. Little details going on in the background, you know, and stuff. The sound of the weapons and the fighting and people running here and there added, you know, a bit more depth to the film. Like, this film was shot brilliantly. Cinema photography, you know, the, the settings, the locations. I, I, I really liked it and, and it really seemed like that's a place where some Comanche tribe could be living, you know, with the the river nearby and the woods and um, all the rest of it, and you know, obviously the wildlife. And predator just happens to choose that spot. Like I say, they go travel around to hunt and. You know, they don't want to hunt flipping, you know, worms or, uh, 
poodles or whatever, you know, the, you know, so, like you say, you see him fighting with that big bear, and he kills the bear, and then, obviously, he's clipped in that there's a tribe of so-called warriors, you know, they've got weapons, this will give him a bit of a challenge, you know, and then the, the, the French fear trappers turn up, you know, and they've got, uh, gunpowder weapons, you know, adds it up a, a, another little notch like, you know, um, yeah, I'm really impressed, like, you know, she isn't a Mary Sue, you know, she she's learning, you know, she gets injured herself, in fact, um, the first half of the film, she, she has quite a few little setbacks and and whatnot, but yeah, she's a quick learner. She gets a lot of help from her brother, you know, but she's used to hand. She, she she's been watching, and um, you know, do do you've seen that the the predator can be hurt, um. And like they say, if, if it can bleed, it, it can be killed. And uh, th th there's a fantastic scene actually. You know, brother turns up on a horse and uh, has a good good go at him. I mean, the, 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 this predator's really uh, agile. And, you know... He's not using, uh, you could say, what could be available with his arsenal. He, he, he's using, you know, well, he's even taking their axes off him and using them. And he's got some mad club thing, like, and his sword and his um, spears and stuff like. Which makes some really interesting fight scenes. I quite like them, because... It's actually showing that uh, these Comanche warriors, which were famous back in the day, you know, for giving the United States soldiers uh, grief, you know, they, they train for it, they're, they're athletic, they, they know how to use um, the terrain to their advantage and that lot like, you know, so... The, the, yeah, they, they managed to hurt, hurt the predator a few times, but like I've said, he's, he's one hard motherfucker, basically, and he hasn't gone there to play deadly winks, he's, he's gone there for a, a fight and to prove his worth, like, you know, so, yeah, and then, like, the girl, sorry, I can't think of any off top of red. I'll just call her Prey. But Prey, yeah. You know, she's been observing now, watching what's going on. And um, there's a bit, I think it's a brother, knocks his biomask off. She's already seen how it targets out of its eye. Uh, you see that in the, in the trailer. And she gets a brother to dot like. And, uh, well, let's just say how Arnie had to set a few traps and neat, very nearly didn't succeed, but yeah, took the guy out, took the predator out like. And obviously the predator made a big boom, but Arnie got to the, the, the chopper like. But yeah, pray. Um, like I say, ever observant, learning, watching, and, uh, you know, she sort of almost plays him at his own game, you know, jumping off trees, stabbing him and that, you know, she, she, she's getting injured as, as she's doing it, but she's got a plan, and, um, I think this links back to the beginning bit, actually, with the bear. Um, but yeah, she set the trap, and the predator not knowing it yet, you know, 
she, she, she's up against a tree, a rooted tree, and you know he's in the the water like the the, the swamp or whatever you call it, the bark, and he stands up, and it's like, right, bet you're having it now, and now. Uh, He, he, he targets her anyway, not realising that, basically, I don't know if I should say this really, don't quite really want to spoil the ending. Let's just say, she uses a, a bit of his own technology against him, and without realising it, he thinks he's taking her out. And really, what she's done is, yeah, she's used his own tactic thing against him, and he ends up killing himself. And yeah, really well done. I think in the hands of a lesser director, um, lesser people. Like I say, my mate worked on this, and he said, you know, the, the people involved and around it really went out of the way to try and make something that fans would like, that, you know, we might get another Predator film after this, and hopefully it will be as good, if not better, than this one. You know, it's a shame it wasn't in theatres because I think this film was worthy of being in the cinema. But after The Predator, you know, Shane Black, I can't believe he was in the original one. And, and he brought that nonsense out. What a load of crap. Awful. Absolutely awful, 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 ridiculous, stupid. You, you, you know, that should have killed the franchise off. And people were saying, after that, we don't want to know a, we don't want to know a Predator film. That, that, uh, that was just so, you know, over the top ridiculous. You know, where can they go from here? Well, they obviously went back to basics and, you know, they didn't put it on cinema. I suppose they thought it'd be a massive flop. I should, and because of the controversy at the start of the film, the trailers did it no justice. Yeah, it was, it was all a big shame, really. Um, yeah, hopefully. A lot of people are going to watch this and going to, I've already seen loads of positivity and reviews. People who weren't sure, I'll give it a go and we're like, oh, I really like this actually. Some people are even saying it's the best or one of the best Predator films out there. Uh, Predator one. With Arnie and that, you know, that was a classic, brilliant, you know, and Predator 2, I think, was really good. The up the ante, I know it, I know it's set in a, a sort of fictional city and Jamaican gangs and that, but that was hell of a lot of fun. You know, and, and and I really like the ending, to be honest. You, you know, and then and then they just they dropped the ball, didn't they? Like, yeah, just predators. I think they had a good idea in the mind, but it was more about the people than the the predators it was it, it was a strange one weren't it you know some people like it some people don't but it 
in my eyes, it's not really a, 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 a proper predator film. If anything, it's yeah, the the this one's gone that I like, but yeah, I'm happy to see Predator Prey. It 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 does. It's a good watch. It's a shame it isn't on the cinema, and and hopefully if enough people make enough noise and you know. Give it enough uh, attention and 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 like it. Then hopefully we'll we'll get some more. And, and like like I keep saying, my, my friend, you know, they really did. The people involved deserve a big, you know, pat on the back for producing what they did with what they had. You know, I made something that I I I I just really don't understand the advertising to it. Really, it was turning a lot of people off straight away. Um, yeah, I was one of them when I first uh, heard about it and that, and I thought, oh, this is just going to be crap like. But the more I heard and whatnot, and I started getting hips up a little bit like, and then. You know, other people hearing things, and then I heard what the direct had to say, and obviously I spoke to my mate, and so I thought, well, at least it's not going to be a terrible mess, like you know, and 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 I and, and, and I was very pleasantly surprised, really enjoyed watching it, and. Uh, I hope you uh, will give it a view and enjoy it too. Um, yeah, if you'd like to, I've, I've got a few other things in the pipeline, uh, movies that are coming out soon. I've been in touch with another one of my friends who told me about some stuff uh, he thinks people are going to enjoy, they're going to be coming out over the next year and next and the year after that. Um, also with regards to what's happening with 2000 AD, got some news coming about that. So, um, and I'd be well happy if you'd subscribe, help my channel along. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoy listening to me ramble on, um, enjoy my content, give us a like, and and if you can, drop me a comment. Love to hear what uh, people are thinking. If you've got any advice for me, or anything you'd like me to mention, or uh, look into you for you. Yeah, always happy to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I still can't believe how impressed I am with, 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 with that film. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping it would be good, and after speaking to my friend and hearing one or two other things, I, I, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed, and and I actually really enjoyed it. So tonight I'm a happy bunny, and uh, I've got enough happiness that uh, I'd like to share as much as I could with you people watching this video. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good day, or good night, as it is night time here now. Thank you.